how gymnasts have such strong wrists that they can do so many supported positions in a routine, doing handstand, press to handstand and flares on the floor without getting injured. In the average pommel horse routine, gymnasts make contact about 50 times on their hands. These can't be done with stiff and weak wrists, that's for sure. Gymnasts prepare their joints with special exercises, including the wrist, since this joint gets an extreme load in gymnastics. But let's not talk about the high level skills. For the everyday person, a simple push-up position or handstand progression can cause wrist pain that you might experience as well. But let's end this now, since in my previous video, I showed you how to mobilize your wrists. And in this video, I'm going to show you the top four most effective exercises that gymnasts use to strengthen their hands, wrists and forearms. With these exercises, you'll be able to make your wrist extremely strong from a complete beginner level and if you're planning to do handstand, press to handstand or planche, it won't depend on your wrist strength for sure. So, if you want to prepare your wrist for the later load, you should move them around as part of the general warm-up, then mobilize them with the exercises I showed you in my previous video and lastly, you should do the strengthening exercises. Like this, after the mobilization, you can strengthen the range of motion you achieved and make your wrist not only mobile, but extremely strong and pain-free. Let's see the top four gymnast wrist stabilization exercises. The first exercise is the palm pulses, which creates wrist flexion, so works the flexor muscles of the forearm. This movement will help you in any exercise on the floor in support, from a simple push-up to the handstand, press to handstand, planche progressions or advanced push-up variations. For instance, if you do a handstand and you need to keep the balance, the best if you can maintain the straight body position and you only use your wrist to keep the balance. When you accidentally lean forward, you can control the balance with pushing your palm to the ground. That's the flexion movement of the wrist joint. It's the same when you're standing on your feet, lean forward and pushing the floor so you can keep the balance. Of course, it works only for a certain point, but it helps a lot. When you're doing a press to handstand and your shoulders are further than your hands, besides the mobility, you need the strength to keep yourself in the right position, applying the flexion strength I mentioned. The same happens in the planche progressions on the floor. Or when you're doing a false grip on the rings to do a muscle up, even on the bar to do a slow motion muscle up, you need the same flexion strength, but on an extreme level. The following exercise will help with that as well on a basic level. The point of this movement is to do palm elevations in shoulder with kneeling support, with forward looking fingers and locked elbows. You need to push the ground, elevate your palms and keep your fingers on the ground. Your thumb can elevate. This movement is the same as when you're standing on your feet and elevate to half feet but down with your hands. The progressions are the following. You can start on the wall, then in kneeling support, in kneeling push-up position and finally in full push-up position. Since we do the wrist mobility in kneeling support, you can do the same with this one and if you want, you can decrease the intensity by putting more load on your legs instead of your hands. In the beginning, you can put more weight on the legs and once you feel more confident, you can place more weight on the hands. This is how you should increase the intensity by putting more and more weight on your hands until you arrive to the final progression in the push-up position. It's different for every person when you can step to the next level for instance, if you feel that you can do the movement with control and you can do 15 reps easily, you can try the next progression. It's important that you should not try harder progressions than the kneeling support in the beginning. It might look easy on the video, but you can hurt yourself easily and overload the joint. As a transition, you can do the movement alternately. So for example, when you step up to the push-up position from the kneeling push-up position, you can do the reps alternately and feel how much load you will have in the new progression. Do 10 to 15 reps as part of your prehab routine or if you want to strengthen your wrists, you can do 3 to 5 sets. The second exercise is the finger poses that also creates wrist flexion so works the flexor muscles of the forearm with longer leverage involving the fingers. This movement will also help you with the exercises I mentioned before. To do this exercise, Get into kneeling support in shoulder with stance, locked elbows and forward looking fingers. Elevate to your index, middle and ring fingers. Your thumb and pinky can elevate. Keep your fingers straight in line with your hand. Don't bend them backward. If you feel that safer or your position more stable, you can bend them forward, especially in the more advanced variations as you see on the video. 
The progressions are the following. You can start at the wall, then in kneeling support, in kneeling push-up position with doing push-ups, and finally, in the full push-up position, also with doing push-ups. The progressions with the push-up are optional. Since those are more dynamic, your fingers get a big load and the risk of injury is higher. If you want to do them, be patient and consistent with the less intensive progressions. Do 10 to 15 reps as part of your prehab routine. The third exercise is the from back of the hand to fist support that creates wrist extension, strengthening the extensor muscles of the forearm. This exercise requires proper mobility thanks to the back of the hand position. The exercise itself mobilizes the wrist while strengthening the extensor muscles of the forearm. Because of the back of the hand position, it's useful for the force grip and is the antagonist exercise of the previous ones. It's worth to work this area thoroughly, doing this exercise along with the others so you can balance out the one-sided load of the flexion exercises. You can do this exercise with locked elbows in the easier progressions as well as doing push-ups, which becomes essential as you progress. The progressions are the following. You can start at the wall, then in kneeling support, in kneeling push-up position with doing push-ups, and finally in the full push-up position also with doing push-ups. Do 10 to 15 reps as part of your prehab routine. The fourth exercise is the fist swing, which will help you on the parallettes, p-bars or rings to balance by strengthening the adduction and abduction movement. In this video, you can see how important these movements are in the press to handstand, balancing in the handstand and counterbalancing in the planche on the p-bars. You can see the tiny correctional movements of the wrist. To do the fist swing, you need to place your hands in shoulder width stance as well. Supporting on your fists, you need to roll forward and backward, putting more load on the outer side of the fists. By rolling forward, you need to keep your elbows lugged and when rolling backward, your elbows need to bend slightly to follow the movement. It's important to do these movements actively from the wrist joint and not passively rolling. I suggest to do this exercise on a softer surface because rolling on a hard surface can be painful. The progressions are the same as in the previous exercises. You can start on the wall, then in kneeling support, in kneeling push-up position, and finally in push-up position. Thanks to the easy decrease of the intensity, you can start in kneeling support as well and you may put more load on the legs first. Do 10 to 15 reps as part of your prehab routine as well. These will be the most effective gymnast wrist stabilization exercises that will help you the most in your training. But it's important that besides the mobile and strong wrists, you should prepare all major joints to avoid pain and injuries during your journey and make sure to build a long-lasting, strong body. If you want to do that and get started with the plans that include all joint preparation exercises, programs and routines done by thousands of people worldwide, download the Gymnastics Method app in the App Store or Google Play Store, become a member and get full access. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you haven't watched my earlier videos, check them out on the screen now.